Can I get something to work at? Taking turns standing in the spotlight Making new trends all the rage But I'm out for good at In her own kind of specialized way We're good These things just pop Okay, how are we feeling about this red camo, guys? I know that it is not our typical green that we had in the last video, but, oh my god, actually really funny. I got this way back in, like, 2018 because Tana Mojo, when she was still popping, she wore this exact hoodie in a story time video, and I was obsessed with her, so I found that it was at Forever 21, and we bought it so that we could be matching with Tana Mojo. <laughs> So dumb, so stupid. Hello, my loves. My name is gonna be Wildlife Elixir today, as my current Twitter display name is. And welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, we do a lot of dog content, predominantly brats. We do talk about some other things every now and again, but it's mainly a brats channel. And one thing that I am known for, not really, uh, sort of, kind of, one thing that I feel like I want to be known for on this channel, at least, is giving you guys random ass Bratz playset reviews. I think that, you know, we've had our Tokyo Go Go Skate and Dance Club video. We had my second most viewed video on the channel as of right now with the Bratz pad. That video got a lot of love. And since then I'm like, maybe I should continue doing this. And then for my Christmas special for 2023, we decided to do a deep dive into Winter Time Wonderland and the Ski Lodge. So this one is definitely going to be a little bit more scaled back, but it's a playset nonetheless. It's a vehicle playset, but in my opinion, this is like one of the best car brats playsets ever. Maybe it's because it's tied to my favorite line, which we did recently do, if you're not in the know, a wildlife safari video. In that video, I did also hint, not really, it was kind of obvious. Previously on the Aqua Elixir YouTube channel. Stay tuned. One of these days, there might be another wildlife safari related video coming out about a certain place that I got. When I think wildlife safari cruiser, I think the plethora of ebay listings that have this playset whether or not it's in box or out of box for 400 to 500 dollars like brat sellers don't piss me off with that pricing because it is dirty nasty stinky like where is it coming from out the ass for sure this was such a sought after playset for me which is so weird because i don't care for cars like i remember growing up as a kid i did not care for a car playset sure it's cute i guess when you're playing with your dolls and it's like oh let's jump in the car and go somewhere sure you know you have a car you could do that i didn't care for them growing up we had one barbie it was like a light blue buggy and i hated that car but this car i mean we could put the b-roll right here the footage from this commercial showing off this car made me want to get a doll car. It changed my mind. I was fully persuaded. And that's something that I never thought that I would want. I think also because it's not a traditional car, like this car has the soft top on it and then you can take that off and then it's like the bones. Cindy, this is bones. And then you can take that off and then it's just like a convertible. But girl, if I thought that it was gonna be hard finding these dolls, I thought it was gonna be difficult finding this car. One day on Mercari, I saw somebody was selling, it was like a Wildlife Safari Megan and the car. And I gasped because it looked like it came with everything. It had all the accessories with it. And I asked the seller, I'm like, yo girl, how much for just the car? And I want to say that I got it for, I could be wrong, but I think I got it for like 70 80 bucks which is still not cute but the original price point for both the doll and the car was i think like 180 so to get it for a hundred dollars off i was like okay big purr because this is better than 400 500 bucks 
So, and we used Afterpay, we used uh, some of our Mercari balance, so it was a little bit cheaper. When it came, it came in this huge box. <laughs> I knew that this box was so fucking big for no reason. Was it necessary? Okay, maybe it was actually. We got ourselves a car. We scored the fucking wildlife safari cruiser. Now, for all my other playset reviews, you know, we have some small pieces missing here and there, but the structure of it is intact. You know, the structure of it is perfect there's no physical damage to the sets themselves this is gonna be the first imperfect one unfortunately i did not realize this judging from the pictures but the top of the car that is removable which luckily it's only the removable part that has an issue but that part got warped you'll see it here it is if you see any dust i am so sorry she has been displayed beautifully, but because of that, and I'm lazy, the dust is here. Bypass that. I don't want to hear that in the comments. Here she is. I'm honestly still in shock and awe seeing this thing fully done up. But unfortunately, again, because of what I said before in the warping, the soft top covering, for some reason... I don't know why, it just doesn't fit the car the same anymore. On this side especially, you can see, like, it's been out of shape right here. It's also been, when I take this off, you'll see, it's been in the back as well. Very annoying, but it doesn't sit in the little groove that it's supposed to sit. And also, the plastic part, it has these little notch pieces right here and, like, on the edges, and it's supposed to go into these holes so that you can have, like, the windows covered up, and it's just, like, a enclosed vehicle but i cannot get the notches they're like close to it but i can't comfortably get them in which sucks because i can't fully have it closed and have that moment also as you can see there's some space in between the top of the car and then and the windshield that's not supposed to be there this is supposed to like click into place so that it's like enclosed but yeah the warping is horrendous so the soft top covering again it has like these windows has like that back window they can roll up and then attach at the top just like so which i find to be so cool that's a nice detail so if you don't want the cover obviously covering the inside you want to see inside you can do that but we're going to take off this first layer just so y'all could see, again, what I mean by the warping of the plastic. Back here, I mean, the white is showing, which means that there was some sort of strain right here. But I mean, other than this piece, and then over here, I honestly don't understand why that is making the whole entire thing out of shape. Now, this place that advertises five seats, but there's only four, which means, where's that fifth seat? It's right here. It has a little seatbelt on it. And so we're back. Uh, it is the next day, as per usual. And basically last night my phone was like, hey, you don't got any more storage, girl. And I was kind of gagged to see this bitch back again. She said, go clear that shit. Cunt face. You fucking cunt face. Blam. Cunt face. Blam. Cunt face. Blam. Blam. Cunt face. Blam! Cunt face! Blam, bitches! Da 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 da! Bitch blam! We're gonna get through the accessories first. And there's not that many accessories, to be honest, with this set. I thought that I had everything that came with this set. But I was looking at the back of the box, and it has, like, the little thing that includes stuff. We did not get the cell phone. And then the camera... I don't know if it's anything different from like this camera that like the boys came with and stuff but honestly i don't care we got everything that was important first thing that we have is this map literally a regular degular map i'm thinking okay maybe they're gonna bratsify it in some way no so the next thing that they came with is a set of binoculars and i want to be rooted out if number one 
every single doll didn't come with a pair. Like, everyone came with a set. But I fully would not be weirded out if it wasn't so big. Like, I just don't understand the choice of having these be so big. Especially when you already gave them sets that are a lot smaller. I mean, the detail of having, like, the little lenses and stuff is really cute. But this was just so random because it's not even like they work. They don't work. They're not for you or anything. You can't see out of them. So why do we have... These are enormous. OMG! That's enormous! Our next item is something that I find to be really, really cute and just such an OG Bratz vehicle staple that I feel like a lot of doll vehicles didn't do. But the Bratz, their level of detail, it's the license plates. If you know... A lot of times in commercials and just in general, they would advertise how like the FM limo, motorcycle style Kate, and just like the, the cruisers and stuff, they all had customizable license plates. Not customizable, but like personal, personalized? Is that the word I'm looking for? Personalized license plates. It was basically like no two cars had the same license plate. So everybody had a different number combination. So as you can see on here, we have my number. It's one, two, four. What is it? Oh my God. Focus. One, two, four, nine, five, eight. And then this one says best friends never look so good. Now this is the back license plate. So it's a little boring. It's literally just this silver plated sticker. But the license plates for the front of a car are the cuter ones. Now I originally had two of these and I had one stuck to the back of the car and it fell off. So that other one don't know where it is unfortunately so we only have one of these left but we do have both of the front license plates so again here's the one that says best friends never looks so good and this one obviously has like the plate frame like the usual license plates would have it has the brats logo and then this one says all eyes on us the last set of accessories you can hear them they're in this cooler so it has like little diamond prints oh not on the back but then up top, they got the Yeti. They bring in the Yeti. They have the Henny in here. The opening mechanism is pretty easy. You just slide it. Slides open just like so. And then close it. Honestly, sometimes I'll be taking this out and just... Like, I be queening out on this shit. It is such a good fidget toy for no damn reason. Like, I could do this all day and night. The sound, the click that it makes... It just gives me that buzz. But anyways, the accessories in here will go one by one. I don't think that it came with the Bratz water bottle. I know that the girls came with them. So I think this is probably Megan's water bottle that I just added in. But shout out to the Bratz water bottles because these are iconic. It came with a first aid kit. It does not open, unfortunately. And then we have our six pack of beer. No, this is definitely like Coke. Coca-Cola, Pepsi, um, generic cola, actually. It's not sponsored. It gives you the six cans, but then the Ooh. bottom is just hollow. With all that being said, let's get a closer look into the car. So here's the car. First things first, this shit lights up. It took me a full year of having this to realize that this car actually lights up. I thought that it was just there for like show, but then I remember rewatching the commercial and I'm like, hold on a second, those lights look like they're on. And they were. I did take the batteries out and worry of them eroding inside the playset and then it never being able to work again. But to access the battery pack, it is actually in the hood. So this opens up. Oh, don't be crooked. There we go. And we have, don't mind the dust, but I love how there's so much detail. It looks like the inside of the hood. And I did not realize this. I've opened this so many times because fun fact, I keep the map in here. This battery pack is so blended in, even though the nail's right here. I didn't even notice that for the longest, but this does lift up. Oh my, <gasps> see what I mean? It's starting, but there is a battery pack. It does still work though, trust me. But yeah, out of fear for this happening more often, 
I took the batteries out. I'm gonna have to clean that actually. Okay, I'm just gonna put the map back in here because that's where I keep it. That folds down. I love the grill with the star. That is a cute little detail. We have the seat that pulls out and goes back in. Can you imagine them driving on the street with this seat and somebody in it? That would be wild. Ooh, here is our first spot for the license plate. So if you don't have the license plates, like if you were to lose them or whatever, I like how it does still have the number. So each car is still personalized. But we could take our little Bratz plate and just stick it in. And there it is. And they just easily pop out. That's why I don't want to have them on here. I'm going to take this off. Here is your bird's eye view. So first things first, we do have the mirrors on the side. I like how they're like a little funky. It's not just like a straight rectangle shape. It is giving a little slight trapezoid. So, and those just attach there. The windshield does come down, which I find to be very interesting, sure. Uh, it also is easy to remove. Maybe a little too easy, but there. Now, the car doors do open. Here's a little handle, but there we go. Nothing really special to them. On the floor, you could see the Bratz logo. I hope you can. And also the dust with it. Then we have the steering wheel. Sadly, it does not beep. I'm surprised. I'm like, where's the horn? It doesn't beep, but that's fine. We have like the little speedometers and stuff there, the little vent detailing. And then the seats themselves, as you could tell, since it's a little old, they like to fall back, but they can be adjustable. Remember, always wear your seatbelt. I don't know where I'm on YOLO. <laughs> we told her to buckle up. And I love how like, even the middle console place right here is very detailed as well. Like we have these little radio buttons. This tiny, tiny button right here is what activates the light. So it's off right now, but you just switch it to the other side and that's what turns it on. There's no click, there's no nothing. It's just such a subtle button. Then we have these star buttons right here. They don't do anything. The gear shift actually moves. Like you're wild. But you're gonna put it in park. We're gonna put the shit in reverse. Put it in drive. I love that. And it has like a little star on it too. There's the cup holder and the Bratz water bottle fits in there pretty nicely. We have this piece. I don't know what it is, but it lifts up. I'm like, sure. And then, oh my God, this piece too. Don't know what this means. I'm not a car aficionado, but it moves. Sure. The back right here, I was really gagged. It came with all the CDs. This is like a little CD compartment. So it came with like multiple, I want to say it's like four CDs. They're all the same. Oh God. They're all the same, but they come in these little orange CD cases. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Oh Lord. There we go. They open up and they all have the little tiny CD that you could take out. It's removable. That is so cool. And there's hella of them. There's four. So they all fit in there. And I'll just go back in like that. You can see the brats, the star. We're going to act as if that dust is glitter. When we turn this car around, you can see the little speakers down there. That's a really cool detail. And then my favorite part of this damn car. We have the... <laughs> The cooler is right here. Oh no, I can't reach it. I can't get to it. How, how can I access the cooler? I'm thirsty. Bitch. Refreshing. Like, please, that is such a game changer. This mechanism, this little shit right here, confused me so much. Seeing the commercial, the way that they just like, kind of like, boop, boop, and it came out. I was like, how does that happen? It's a little spring. So you just kind of press it down and it raises up and then you push it back in and it locks in place. It is embedded. Isn't that cool? It is obviously removable. It's just like a little platform that does all that. But hello. I love this. Okay, let's try to be like the commercial. Uh, I'm thirsty. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. 
I just closed out the video by mistake. But anyways. <laughs> Yay. Too much brain power went into that. Uh, here are the girls in the seats. Hello. I should have done that in the front seats too, but here. Let's quickly... We're not going to put in the seatbelts because YOLO. And also that would take up too much time. But here... They fit pretty good. Okay, her feet is... Oh my god, the door broke too? Okay, here is how they look. <laughs> the door broke and I can't get it back off right now. So we're just gonna leave it. Um, Fiona, I don't know why this bitch can't get in the seat. But... Yeah, this is how they look. Whatever. Get out. Get out. I'm done with you. The back seats swivel, the front seats do not. So these just kind of lift up very easily and then you can rotate them and then they can be sitting in the back like that. It's very cool though because if you display this on like a very elevated surface, like I display it on my dresser over there, which is a very high spot, you can't really see into the car. So it's nice that these seats move up so that they kind of are raised above the car and you can still see somebody sitting in them, if that makes sense. But they swivel and they come back down. Not me almost forgetting to show you guys one of the best parts of this playset, the passenger seat. I mean, we saw it in the commercial. This glove compartment opens up. Okay. Opens up like so. It just kind of like flips down. And then this flips up. And it is a makeup tray gloved. Oh, I almost said glove department. Makeup tray glove compartment with an actual mirror hold up let's get megan and it's so cutesy i don't know why this side doesn't have the paint on it but it's supposed to be like little starlights and then the makeup i mean it's literally just painted pretty simple but it's still just such a cool feature closes up like so very awesome detail brats y'all ate with this feature now the wheels on this bus do go round and round okay that's not a good example the wheels on the oh oh my god hold on the wheels on this bus do go round and round they're really shiny the backs do have the little brats logo and this really cool retro like font then we have the back of the truck these lights do work as well as this does also open isn't that cute and then we have the license plate right here we could just put that on but again, we're going to take it off because we don't want to lose this one. Have the little hitch and it has a little star in it as well. And then we have this fake spare tire on the back. Pretty cute. And that's really it. That's the whole car. Before we finish, I just wanted to show y'all how the display looks. Of course, we're not covering this. This is from a different video. But next to it is our wildlife safari display. And we love her so much. Now, little overview of what we did. We got the inbox Kobe in the back. My Kate is just like in the closet for right now, but we just wanted to fill the space right there. All right, we got Eaton here. Megan is sitting in the car because obviously we have to have somebody in the car. They all can't just be outside of the car. And she did her makeup. Then these three are the moment. Oh my God. I love them. Cameron is up top just so that we have somebody else also inside the car. And then off to the side, we have Nebra and Kobe. We got the little cooler out here too. Yeah, that is the little display. I think that looks so cute. Oh my God. All right, loves. Final thoughts on the Wildlife Safari Cruiser. This is just such a neat car. It's very, very unique. The coloring of it all, I love this deep, almost like army green that they use for it. Plus like the tans, like the beige kind of color on the inside. It just works for me. I think that it really just completes the wildlife safari line. Like I'm happy that this wasn't just like a doll collection, but it came with the car as well. Cause what they did with the commercial just really adds to the story. Like them driving this car down the street, trying to get to the next gig. I love it. All the different features just make this so unique compared to other doll cars and they're truly one of a kind by coming out with this.
I mean, they did it a second time as well with the campfire line. But even then, this one out eight. This one did. I hate how the campfire one has the logo here. And just like branded all over the car, even on the soft top cover, if I'm not mistaken. Just doesn't do it for me. I like how this is just plain. I'm so happy that I have this in my collection. It's such a cool piece. All displayed, as y'all saw, it looks pretty kind. And uh, yeah, I feel like I don't really see many people reviewing this car. So I'm happy that I was able to give y'all a quick review on it, even though it was very chaotic. <laughs> but with that first video diving into the collection and then this video diving into the playset, I hope that you guys enjoyed this in-depth look at my favorite Bratz line. If you didn't know about Wildlife Safari, I hope that this enlightened you a little bit. If you already knew about Wildlife Safari, hey girl, ain't she cute? Like, we see eye to eye, we see each other. We good. With that being said, if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. I would really appreciate it. It does help me out a lot. And it would also help me out if you guys subscribed if you aren't already. We have a lot of fun here on this channel. And maybe hit that notification bell if you want to keep up with whenever I post. Because I don't have a schedule. I just kind of post whenever a video comes up. Or whenever I just get around to editing an older video that I have somewhere deep in the archives. Follow me on Twitter. I feel like I'd never say that. But, you know, this YouTube channel probably would not have been a thing if it wasn't for me starting out on Twitter. So we got my doll Twitter at Aqua Elixir. And with that being said, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.